I said what I said, As and always, I'm not changing on it, okay? It's not a bad song, but it's almost not a song I would ever want to listen to again. This is one of the best, this is one of the best songs from the EP. Next up, we have Numbers. If you were here for my live reaction to Numbers, then you know that I hated the song. I hate to use the word boring, but after a while, the song just gets boring. A video you have been waiting for. Unless you're new here, then hello. Hello, my favorite people. Today we're gonna be ranking the After School EP by Melanie Martinez. As you guys know, since my bakery reaction did so well, we're pushing like 250,000 views on it right now. I said I was gonna award the crybabies on the channel and give you a three part series. I'd be covering her songs, which we've already done a couple videos for that. Trying to bring the mystical into the material. I'd be covering her choreography, which I'm getting ready to do the detention cover. As you know, on the second channel, we already picked the outfit. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. And the last part of this series was gonna be me ranking her music. We've already done Cry Baby, we've already done K through 12, and now we're doing the After School EP. And after this one, we can do her unreleased music or maybe her singles. I know you guys want me to continue this series, so just let me know in the comments or DM me on Instagram what other content you wanna see in regards to the series. But anyways, today, we're gonna be ranking the After School EP. Now, if you were here whenever I first reacted to it, you know my opinions from back then. I must say, they have changed a lot now. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you see where I ranked each song from the EP. You may be surprised. Like always, if you have any video requests or suggestions, make sure you head over to Instagram and DM them to me over there. I can't go through every comment, so head over to Instagram, DM me, or tweet them at me on Twitter. My candle is like right there. Make sure you like this video as well so I know you enjoyed it. Let's get 900 likes. Let's see if the crybabies can do that. And subscribe to the second channel. As you guys know, I just did a challenge where I dressed up like Melanie Martinez. Hello, go check it out if you haven't. Second channel, subscribe. All that being said, let's get into ranking after school. The EP, which by the way, I'm about to buy because it's only like 15 bucks. You guys know how these ranking videos go. We have to start the video off describing what each column means, what each ranking signifies. So on the very top, we have the category, We Simping. Simping is basically like you're in love with the song. The song means so much to you, it's just your favorite song from the album. You can't explain it, but you have a connection to the song. So any song that goes in that category is like, you're saying it's the best song from the entire EP. The next column under We Simping is Run That Ish Back. Now Run That Ish Back is, it, it, I guess it could kind of resemble simping, but you don't care about the song at the same level or in the way that you do for the songs that you're simping for. Run That Ish Back just means it's a good song and you want to hear it over and over again, but it's not your all-time favorite. You love the song, it's just not your favorite. Under Run That Ish Back, we have Just Because It's Mel. Now, Just Because It's Mel means you're just going to stream the song because you like Melanie Martinez, because you love Melanie. She's one of your favorite artists. So therefore, you're going to support her and listen to her music, regardless if you do like it or don't like it, because it's Melanie Martinez. So songs there are just songs that you're like, they're average songs, you don't really like them, you don't dislike them, they're just there. Under just because it's Mel, we have Blech. Now Blech means you don't like the song. You don't really care for it, you don't wanna to listen to it. You might even skip it. It's Blech. And after Blech, we have Pack It, Box It, Flip It, Top It, The Fuck Off The Album. As you guys know, that is some of the lyrics from The Bakery. And basically, Pack It, Box It, Flip It, Top It, The Fuck Off The Album just means the song should not have been released. Melanie should have Hell, she has so many unreleased songs and she chose to release this song. Any song that goes in that column is like, just trash. We hate it, we don't wanna hear it ever again. So let's see what songs I end up putting in that category. This may get me in trouble, but I don't care. Now that you guys understand what each column is, let's get right into the ranking. <sighs> so first up we have Notebook. Why, why do we have to start off with Notebook? Okay, okay. <sighs> notebook. The thing about Notebook is, the song is very constant. And if you don't know what I mean by constant, basically there's no depth to the song. The song doesn't build up to anything. It's very constant. The instrumentals, even Melanie's vocals don't really have much change throughout them, which I feel like all of that adds to the theme of the song, but it makes it hard to even listen to as a, as a fan of Melanie Martinez. The song is sort of just, I hate to use the word boring, but after a while the song just gets boring. Like I, I've maybe listened to the entire song of Notebook maybe like four times, and then after a while I just started skipping it, and I started skipping it closer and closer to the beginning. I don't know. <laughs> so that being said, we have to, I'm sorry sis, Notebook is going in bland. 
I'm, it's not gonna go in packet box and flip it top at the F off the album because it's not a bad song, but it's almost not a song I would ever wanna listen to again. Next up, we have Test Me. Now, Test Me really speaks to me. I love the contrast she used with religion and just this inner conflict that the song speaks about. Some of you may be thinking, Favorite, how can you say that Notebook is constant or repetitive but you think Test Me isn't? The thing about Test Me is there's depth to it. You don't feel like you're listening to the same sound over and over again. Whereas Notebook, Melanie's vocals were very monotone. On Test Me, you can tell that there's pain there and that is further exemplified through the instrumental. The instrumental is so haunting and powerful that Test Me feels like, like you're being overpowered. So for that, I'm going to have to put Test Me in the run, run that ish back. I'm not sipping for it, it's not my favorite, but I, I have a lot of respect and love for Test Me, so yeah. Aside from the lyrics, aside from what she's talking about, the song itself is just Melanie Martinez. It's a Melanie Martinez sound, which I have to give props to Melanie. She has a definitive sound that still can be changed. She can make a pop song, she can make a jazz song, she can make a ballad, and it all still represents Melanie Martinez. Whereas on the other hand, this is kind of a spoiler for the video I'm gonna upload after this one, we have artists like Miss Grande who release albums called Positions and it's almost unrecognizable. So stay tuned by the way for my Positions ranking because I'm gonna do that right after this one. And we have a lot to talk about about that album. Ugh. Anyways, yes, we put Test Me in Run That Ish Back. The next song is Brain and Heart. And how dare you all disrespect Brain and Heart. This is one of the best, this is one of the best songs from the EP, genuinely. A lot of people have been in my comment sections talking about how Brain and Heart is one of her worst songs, how it's overhyped, how you hate it, and I don't understand. It just stems from your lack of taste, because Brain and Heart is a great song. The song talks about the inner conflict of whether you let your heart or your brain direct your, direct your path, whether you let it influence you. Why can't you let both influence you? What makes a person a person? What makes someone have their morals, have their feelings? Is it your brain or your heart? And can you let both direct you? I think that's just a great message that we don't really get to see talked about or even questioned in music, especially. So, and on top of that, the instrumental is just so beautiful. Melanie's vocals are so good on the song. Brain and Heart, we have to go, we're simping for Brain and Heart. I know a lot of you are gonna be mad about this. Brain and Heart is one of my favorite songs. We simping for it. Frequencies, batteries, and friends in my bones. Ah! How can you not like Brain and Heart? Are you mental? Are you mental? Are you all there? I don't think so, if you hate Brandon Hawk. Next up, we have Numbers. If you were here for my live reaction to Numbers, then you know that I hated the song. I thought it was just noise, it was chaotic. It was not Melanie Martinez, but I have listened to it more since then, and I love the song. Okay, I don't love the song. I love the chorus of the song. The first verse of the song, I don't care for, I still don't care for, but after the first chorus, the song just changes for me. Just a number cause it seems like that's your own. And it's just like the crashing of the symbols. It's just like energy, chaos, but it sounds good. I don't know how to explain numbers, but it's a good song. I know we were all hating on it whenever we first heard it. And it's a song that you just have to, you have to get used to it. On the surface, numbers is very out there, but I feel like the song is just really good. So therefore, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in Run That Ish Back. I'm not simping for it, but I do really like the song. <laughs> it's changing the entire song. You have high notes, you have low notes, you have fast rhythms, you have slow rhythms. The entire song is just an up and down movement and that's the constant part. But it's not like boring. The point is Numbers has a lot of energy so it keeps you engaged and wanting to listen to more and you can't understand why. And I think that makes it a good song. Anyways, let's go on to Glued. Now you guys know, again, if you were here for my live reaction to After School EP, that's why you should subscribe if you haven't yet. Glued was one of my favorite songs back then and it still is now. In fact, I think Glued is my favorite song from the album. Melly Martinez is the only artist who makes ballads bearable. If you guys have seen my other reactions, then you know I'm not usually a fan of slow songs or emotional songs, but whenever it comes from Melanie Martinez, I love it. And it's because she not only is able to evoke an emotion through her voice, 
but the, I just keep talking about the energy in Melanie's music. The energy she gives off is just so good. So even in a song like Glued where she's talking about she feels very stuck and like she's not in control, like she can't control anything. That is a, an emotion that we all resonate with that may be seen as dark, but the way she sings it in the instrumental makes it just at the same time hopeful, which is so weird to say about a song that is supposed to represent feeling trapped, but at some point you're able to still feel the feeling of hope through it. Bitch. Da -da, da -da. I am glued to the thoughts in my mind, H -A -J -K, baby, or something like that. There are just so many different points throughout the song that are just so breathtaking and just genius for her to actually have written and been able to come up with. So for that, bitch, glued, if I could, glued would break the scale. Glued would be on top of We Simping, but since I can't do that, I'm just going to put it in the very beginning of the We Simping column. So right now in We Simping, we have glued and brain and heart. Now go ahead and comment down below so far if you agree with my rankings or my explanations of the songs. Do you think anything should be moved higher or how would you arrange it? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, next up we have Field Trip. You guys know since I did my cover to Field Trip and that was something else, the Wii Remote is still here. I have basically studied this song. I memorized the lyrics in like 15 minutes. I've listened to it so many times. I can confidently say Field Trip does not match the other songs from the EP. Field Trip has a sort of poppiness and energy. The other songs have been very Alice in Wonderland, The Mad Hatter, stuff like that. And I feel like just Field Trip does not match that. I feel like Field Trip would match more to K through 12 than it does to After School EP. Looking at Field Trip not as a song on the After School EP, just as an individual song, it is a good song. Ah, it pains me to say this, but in a way, I kind of don't even like the way that Melanie sang the song. Not to say that her vocals are bad, but she put a sort of like jazziness and playfulness to the song. And I feel like all the other songs have just been very straightforward and filled with emotion. So now for at the very end of the EP to have a complete contrast, it kind of just threw, it still does throw me off. And again, Field Trip by itself is a good song, but as a whole package of After School, Field Trip does not belong on the, on the EP. Oh my god. So that being said, guys, field trip, pack it, box it, flip it, top it the fuck off the album. <sighs> you know, I was tempted to just put it in just because it's Mel. Because again, I do like the song. I'm going to listen to it over and over again. I love the song. But it does not belong on the album. It really does not. Think of songs like Hello, Glued, Test Me, Numbers, Brain and Heart. Even numbers in a way does not match the other songs, but at the same time it does because it's a sort of just chaotic, internalized emotion. Field Trip, I don't even know what it's talking about. And I just want to clarify a little further. I'm not saying that... Oh. I'm not saying that to have a good album, you have to have all the songs like sound the same or have a common theme between every single song. I'm just saying you can't have one song at the very end stand out like a sore thumb against all the other songs. Like all the songs on the After School EP up until this point have kind of had the same feeling and sound to them. And After School is not that sound. After School is very energetic and crazy and poppy. It just does not match the rest of the songs. So it doesn't fit in. It's not that it's a bad song. It just does not fit in on the EP. What emotion does Field Trip evoke? I don't know. In my opinion, Field Trip does not belong on the album. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. Comment down below. And lastly, on this EP, I keep calling it an album. It's not an album. It's an EP. But lastly, we have The Bakery. La, 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 la. Melanie Martinez is a genius. She's a genius. Her mind is, she's Einstein. The fact that she chose The Bakery as the title track, the music video, her body, my mom's reaction, or lack of reaction, I guess. <laughs> All just really sold the bakery as a beautiful project. So therefore, we have to put the bakery in We Something. In fact, it's gonna go in front of uh, Brain and Heart. Actually, it's gonna go in front of Glued. The bakery is my favorite song from the album, officially. Bitch, why aren't you moving? Okay. The bakery is my favorite song from the, from the EP. It definitely belongs to We Something. So guys, we have in the We Something column, the bakery, glued, brain and heart. Run that ish back, we have test me and numbers. Just because it's Mel, we have no songs. Which I guess means that we either loved it or we didn't. Blech, we have notebook. 
and then pack it, box it, flip it, top it, the fuck off the album. We have Field Trip. So there you guys go. That is my ranking of the After School EP. Again, let me know if you agree with any of my rankings. Do you think I should rearrange them? Or where would you put some of the songs? Do your rankings match mine? I believe I'm a person with good taste, so let me know your thoughts. Stay tuned for the rest of the series. And again, like I mentioned, I will be ranking the pos I will be ranking the Positions album by Miss Grande because we have a lot to say about that. We, j we seriously do. I hope you stay tuned for that video because I'm excited to make it. Anyways, subscribe if you're new here, like this video, check out my other ranking of Melanie Martinez content. In fact, just check out my entire Melanie Martinez playlist. There's like a hundred videos you need to catch up on if you're new here. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for supporting me. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the second channel, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. I'm sorry about field trip, but I had to do it. It had to be said. It's the truth.